All right, so one of my viewers, um, Carl Peach, asked if I could make a video showing how to uh, recover screws if you were to lose them in your carpet or something like that. So let's say I have like a bunch of screws here. So let's say you kind of dropped them and they kind of got smushed into your carpet or something or you couldn't find them. Let's say they're hard to see. So the trick is I have this big magnet. So even if you can't see them, you just kind of do this and then you get all your screws okay so to me that's the easiest way it works really well too because sometimes let's say you'll drop like a screw or something and maybe it matches the color of the surface pretty well i mean this isn't a good example because you can easily see it but let's say it's like fell somewhere underneath you can't see it right so if you have a magnet and you kind of like just go over then it will easily like take it see you didn't even notice but it took that screw like I didn't hear it but um so this works really well if you have super tiny screws like from max or something so if I were to do this see now this thing it just grabs it it's really easy so if you have weird uneven surfaces or let's say you drop it somewhere and it's hard to see because it's super tiny so let me see I'll get some smaller screws and I'll show you let me get these off Okay, so like let's say these tiny max screws, okay? These ones are a lot harder to see, especially if you just dropped one. Let's say it like got sucked into the carpet, so like here, okay? So let's see, like right now you can you can't even really see it. It's like getting covered in there. Like you can see it because I showed you where it is. Okay, but let's say the carpet was kind of like you somehow stepped into it and it's just like shoved inside the carpet, okay? So you got that in there, all right? It's really hard to do that, but anyways, see how easy it comes up? And you just kinda, if you want, you can just rub it into the carpet and it easily will just pick up all those screws. I'll get some smaller screws to make this even show even better. All right, so I got a tray of these super tiny screws from Max and stuff. So these ones, a lot of times, if you drop them, they're really hard to find. See these silver ones? I just gotta make sure I get screws and not, there's some rivets in here that. All right, so let's see. So I'm gonna drop two of these. Like, let's say you drop these and see, it's really hard to see from here. So it like, if you were just dropping them and you're trying to look for them, it's really hard to see. Like, because you know where I dropped them, then you can kind of see it. But let's say like that, we got two of those and I'm gonna throw in two of these. Okay, so you can kind of see the black ones, but I can't really tell where the silver ones in the video right now. Just get the screw this, and there you go. They're all stuck on there. Got both silver ones. Got both black ones. And this works really well. You just grab the thing and just go all over your carpet or wherever, wherever you think you dropped them. And you can pick up all those little loose metal pieces that you dropped. And I also, oops, I didn't take that one out. Okay. All right, so here you go, very easy. That's how I pick up my screws. If you're wondering what's around my magnet, I just took some tape and I just wrapped it backwards around this. Um, I should probably show this process because this actually helps so that you don't damage your magnet. I'm gonna cut this tape off because it's kind of getting messed up. And I will show you how I wrapped it up like this, all right? Give me a second, I'll be back with some tape. Okay, I'll see if I can show this. This is kind of deceptive because the camera is actually like not even five inches from the ground, but my camera has really good, um, what do you call, wide angle lens. Anyways, I'm gonna cut this old tape off. So actually, let me do this off camera. Well, I don't know if I should try and show this, but anyways. Um, because this magnet pulls the thing, it's going to be kind of hard to cut the tape off, but, um, let's try and do this real quick, All right? I'm probably going to end up scratching my magnet cutting this, but I basically just make a slit in the tape like that. And then here you go. We can actually peel this off and I did multiple layers here. So you can see it kind of just peels out. Okay, okay, there we go. Now we're actually getting to the magnet itself. 
and we're gonna peel all that. So actually, I didn't even scratch the magnet. I cut just the right amount. Actually, I might have scratched it here. Okay, so what you wanna do is we're gonna get two, two layers of tape, okay? And what you want to make this easy, okay, oops. All right, so what you're gonna do is get a piece of tape, just make it kind of long, all right? It doesn't need to be too long. Um, it really depends on your magnet, of course. What you can do is you can check the magnet like this, all right? And you want a little bit of it to extend over, of course. All right, and then we're just gonna cut that. So we'll cut it like this. Oops, what am I hitting? There's something stuck on my magnet. Anyways, once you get that, we're basically gonna roll in reverse, okay? So I'm not using the sticky side, I'm using the, the non-sticky side, all right? So we're gonna wrap this in here, and the reason I do that is because I don't want the uh, tape to be permanently stuck on the magnet. I wanna be able to remove it if I ever need to put a new layer. Okay, so you just roll that on. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you get the point already. All right, and there we go. So we got this thing of tape wrapped around the magnet. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut these edges to fold them down. Um, I accidentally made too much, so I'm gonna pinch it over so it's up here. And you want this tape that's exposed to be shorter than the magnet itself, so that way we can like fold it over. So now that it's like that, we can actually fold this kind of like we're wrapping a present. So you can fold these two inside ends. Okay, it's gonna be tough if you don't have this being held down, but um, basically push that up. Okay, I'm gonna hold this down so it doesn't pop itself back out the other way. Fold it over like a Christmas present towards the center and then fold this in. And then same thing with the other side, fold that in. And now that we did that, you can see it formed like a little closed wrapping package and it's all sealed up nice, okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing with here because we have excess tape. We're gonna hold on to the magnet and then we're gonna try and cut the excess without the magnet pulling it in too close, okay? So just like that, all right? And then same thing, fold the ends in Okay, and then just wrap this over just like a present. Hopefully that's clear. It's hard to do this while the camera's in my way, but there we go. And of course this is all sticky. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get another piece of tape and do the same thing. All right. Same thing, get the piece of tape. Make sure you cut about the same as before, okay? Just like that. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the magnet out. There we go. All right, so now, as you can see, this side is sticky, all right? Oops, I got some cat hair on it. Take that out, all right. So since this side is sticky, now we're gonna do it the other way. This is also the sticky side. Okay, so we're gonna get the tape and we're just gonna stick the magnet onto it, just like that. Okay, and then of course we just wrap the whole magnet in the tape, now going the opposite way. Okay, stick it all on there. Okay, very simple. If you want, you can cut these ends off. It's gonna be a little bit so this one you can't do like the way before with the present because the way it sticks. So now what we gotta do, okay. Let's see, I'll show you here. So now we have to actually use the scissor and what we're gonna do, oops, my phone fell over. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're gonna cut along these edges, the four edges, okay. So just like that, get the scissor along that corner edge, cut that go along the other corner edge, all right? Might be a little tricky. All right, other corner. And last corner. 
I mean, you get the idea. All right, and then to make sure you get it all the way down, you wanna pull these flaps back just to make sure that it the cut goes all the way down to the end. Okay, and then we're gonna just fold it over. So keep these tabs out of the way and then fold that one down, then put the other two little tabs over and then put the big tab last. There we go. And we just repeat the same thing on the other side. All right, very straightforward. Cut this piece. And the reason I do this is because I don't want the um, screws to scratch up the magnet and over time it's gonna damage it. So I make this tape coating on top. All right, same thing. Peel these edges back. Okay, and then we fold this over. All right, then fold over the little edges, little flaps, and then fold over the last one, just like that. And there you go. Now you got your tape covered magnet. So now this coating is a lot better. It's not gonna get all damaged and destroyed, but if it does, you can always just cut it off. All right, and then just test it with the magnet, with the screws, and of course, they're gonna stick on there. All right. So that's how you do that. That's how you find your lost screws or your loose screws easily. And yeah, um, this works really well for any type of whatever floor, as long as your floor isn't made of metal, because then of course your magnet will stick to it. Or if it sticks to the metal, then the metal is going to pull the screws as well, because then the metal will become a magnet. So this works with whatever concrete floors and things like that. Um, it also works for picking up um, shavings, like metal shavings, if you're drilling metal and things like that. Um, if you want to make it easy to clean up, what you can do is just get an envelope or uh, anything paper, okay? And you basically um, just stick the magnet inside the paper, okay? Let's go ahead again and pretend we're losing some screws there, okay? So now, since you have this paper, it'll all stick to that paper and then you can just pull the magnet out so let's say I'm taking the magnet out and all the screws will kind of just fall off the paper so that's another way but yeah all right so hopefully these tips and tricks helped you guys if it did please like subscribe share my channel with others thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one bye